presentations. Mr. McNerney. Hello, how's it ready? Good. I've never been to where we've done my hair. <laughs> and the other uh, principals all make fun of me because I don't give you handouts, so I brought handouts. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, okay, so. Okay. So, um, I'll just give you a quick update. Uh, right now, we have 139 students at GTA, uh, 85 are on campus, 100%, 54 are hybrid students with uh, their cores online, and at least two electives on campus. Um, our attendance right now is at 79.9%. That's up from last year of 68.7% uh, the same day. Um, it's not good enough. We're working on it. But if you ask any, uh, AEC attendance is their biggest, is their biggest hurdle. So uh, we're, we're on the right track. We're, we've come up quite a bit. So that's good. Uh, we have 38 seniors. Uh, 32 will graduate for sure. Um, I think between the, now and the end of summer recovery, we can get four more. And I think the other two will have to come back. Maybe we'll get them before Christmas. Uh, but that's pretty good. 38 seniors is a lot of uh, seniors. I'm pretty proud of that number. And I'm pretty proud of 32 of them. And I'm pretty proud of everybody who works hard. So that's great. Um, seniors are going on their senior trip on Thursday. They, their senior trip is 100% of their own fundraising. Uh, student, cap, cap, uh, student council trip on Wednesday, same deal, 100% on fundraising. Uh, there's a, we're gonna take a science trip to New Mexico next week. Um, and that's only gonna cost us the, the the, the money to get there, the gas to get there, and then there's a tech trip to Pueblo, which is also, uh, uh, the kids are buying their own way into the trampoline. Okay, so NWA, I don't really like it, but 81% uh, of our students have tested, uh, had testing. The data was 62% six, of them met their goal. Uh, the reading, 80% tested, 55% met, met their goal, 55%. Uh, language was 82, and that was 11, uh, that's only 7 to 11, and 50% met their goal. Uh, science percent is 58, 58% uh, 7 through 10th graders, and 51% of them met their goal. So traditionally, uh, NWA stuff falls between fall and winter, but ours kind of went up, so that's a good thing. The thing I don't like, again, is the same as the attendance. I don't get enough kids testing to get really solid data. So I'm proud of the data that we got here. Uh, it's moving in the right direction. It's better than last year, and uh, next year we better do. So specifically, what do you not like? Oh, I don't like the fact that I only got 81% of my kids to test. Oh. <laughs> and I think that should be higher. So I, what they It's know? not like, it's not, there's not an opt-out for this. This is done in the classrooms. And they just, they, they're either not there on the testing day, or they don't do the makeup day, and they're just not really happy with those numbers. So when they know that's in the VA, do they just stay home that day? I think so. I think so. And it, I don't know. I can't figure out it. it I'm happy this going up. It's better than last year. Um, it says right there, last year we only got around 50%, so we went up 30%. So that's good. Uh, so um, I saw that share some, but now I'm gonna share all the good stuff. All the uh, students, the cool stuff that the students do. Um, so every day our, our, tech, our tech students film, write, and edit announcements uh, with a lot of help from Mr. Salazar. Uh, they have also uh, done video tours of the new bus barn and the kitchen, and, uh, which is all- They have their own separate yearbook, do We do. This year, this is the first year we've done in separate yearbooks, but uh, the kids wanted it. The, the student council decided that they'd like their own yearbook. So they'll have two, really. I mean, they'll, like I said, they'll, they'll still be in the high schools, but they'll have a TTA as well. Um, and I'll, I'll show it with you guys, so you guys can watch it. The, the, the little tour of the kitchen is pretty neat. Um, okay, so the work kids have been off-campus working on uh, off-campus work site. An off-campus work site, we call that a uh, lab. Uh, they've been putting up walls for a garage, learning uh, building code, carpentry skills, and such. Uh, the art kids are working on their stuff on their, for our art show, which is on the 16th, which is our um, 
Awards Day, which please come. You guys are, of course, all invited. Uh, so there, uh, the, at the art, at the Otero, I want to say OGC, sorry, at the Otero College show, we had, uh, we had more entries and more awards than ever. We had 35 entries and 20, at least 35 entries and at least 20 ribbons. Uh, we also, um, there were, I didn't say this, but uh, Alex Graham also won a scholarship, of course, nice. senior scholarship. Uh, the art class is working on uh, at the Lahana Pool, uh, yet all today and then tomorrow, I'm not sure, about uh, Wednesday, uh, on the fence and murals. Uh, this project is, um, this is a good community project for the students to do as well. It's a good project. And it's pretty neat, they've already got a lot of it up, if you can see there. there uh, uh, so thanks to Zeke and the <laughs> uh, science class has been busy. Uh, oh, the animal science class has been to a horse training uh, facility. You can read all about that. It was a project where they got to see them train against horses against buffalo. It's pretty neat. The animal science uh, food safety took a little bit thing in Fowler, which I think we made a lot of vegetarians. Uh, <laughs> tour of the processing things. Sorry, which I think we made a lot of vegetarians that day. Uh, it was pretty neat too, and that was uh, sponsored through the um, uh, through uh, our extension agent. So our Tiger Trades 4-H is, is really busy for the season. They are gearing up to have lots of different programs, hunter safety all the way to small animals and stuff like that. Here's the really neat part for us. This is the first, but this is the only right now 4-H club that is a school sponsored club in the whole state. So it's kind of a neat thing for us. Um, and Mrs. Griffin is about to tell you about some of that. Uh, she, she's going to talk about that plus their, their uh, leadership thing that they need for for um, We have the kids. We have kids participating in Mexican Heritage Project twice a month. We have uh, students taking many different projects. Fruit, uh, that's the same as the 4 H. Sorry. Okay, you can read that all uh, along. Uh, uh, our green, uh, our green, a <coughs> gold green class uh, visited the uh, recycling center. We're working closely with the recycling center, trying to get uh, a recycling stop at TTA. Um, when we when we first got TTA, we had a cardboard thing, but they needed it in another building. We have never got it back. We'd like to get that back just to keep the recycling going. There. Uh, here's the cool thing that the Go Green class does. One of the coolest things that they do is monthly and sometimes twice a month they go to Evergreen Gardens and they do art projects with the uh, clients there and they uh, share lunch and it's a pretty neat thing. All the, the, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the residents know all the kids and they look forward to seeing them. It's pretty neat. There's some cool pictures if you haven't seen them on the website, on the uh, social media sites. So 4-H will continue through the summer. Uh, our summer school will just be some credit recovery for seniors and juniors. Uh, and that's kind of where we're going for the summer. And I will, if you would let me, I'd like to uh, Mrs. Griffin and the girls tell you about their 4-H project today. What time is You're your right? award ceremony on the 16th? Uh, watch out. <laughs> it's lunch, so we'll, it'll start at noon, come over to eat lunch, and we'll probably be around. But uh, yeah, it's going to be hamburgers and hot dogs, stuff like that. So you guys are welcome for lunch. And for thank what you. Is, what We'd just like to thank you for the opportunity for allowing us to go to Denver for the week. It was an awesome experience. Um, the girls were able to work with um, a summer camp for middle schoolers that was hosted by the CSU Spring Break Camp. Thank you. Sorry, Spring Break Camp, um, hosted by CSU. And um, the girls, I'll let them share some of their leadership activities and share their books and what they did on that part, and they'll add to it. Um, some of the leadership things that we did up there was uh, we led the kids during games. We helped them out with their books. We all made uh, books, and we just got paper and do a lot of cool stuff that you just want to do. Um, we did some poetry up there. We had like a lot of games for the kids. Uh, Easter egg hunt. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was probably the most popular. We went to go see uh, like this art thing. Um, I'm not really sure what it was. Just like 
just around, not to walk around. It's a couple of like a little murals. Yeah. The Rhino District and the Art District. <laughs> so I got some. It was just, um, I had some done before then, but I gave them some, some inspirations. And then there's some I did with them. Like this page I did with them. There's also this one. This one was my favorite one to do with them. We got to like choose like a page that we wanted to do, and it was like different um, schemes. So it was a perfectly imperfect um, workshop. And so each day there was a different topic that they worked with. The local extension agents um, came in and talked to them about different things. And so that's how they base their pages on and what they're working on. Um, these girls are also part of our 4-H club at TTA. We're super excited. Like Mr. McNerney said, we are the first Colorado-based 4-H program in the state that has been approved. Uh, we have 16 kids. Um, so they have a busy summer, but we have animals showing this at the local fair. That's where their general projects will be on display, cake decorating, um, clothing. We've been to um, a few different workshops. They go Fridays with Miss Marlena to do a cat um, class, and then they do um, pet pantry. Yes, we do pet pantry the first Friday of every month in Rocky Ford. Uh, we also had the opportunity to go to Denver to their actual warehouse and see how that whole process works, and they invited us to go back again in June. So we're pretty excited about all the opportunities that we've had here um, at TTA. And thank you for allowing us to have those opportunities. Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. What is Cat Club? So Cat Club, do you want to explain that? Uh, cat Club is basically like you showing your cat off to the judges, of uh, how tamed your cat can be and like be around people. Like they're, you get to show off their fur, tell, tell them what kind of cat you have. Uh, show them the teeth and uh, the claws and stuff to see if they're like, you know, sharpened or clipped and stuff. And uh, yeah, she's just showing us that right now. We uh, made some cat toys and did like a little page. So it's like your um, your bag, you know, the front cover of your bag. So we did that on a piece of paper. So we're hoping to have some kids actually exhibit at the state fair with their cat projects. And then if we win at the county level with their journal projects, exhibit at the state fair as well. So, um, And then they've been doing Mexican heritage every Friday as well. And so each Friday they have a different uh, project that they learn or a different cooking activity. You can talk about some of those that you've done. Um, I did miss a couple of days because I didn't have work, so I couldn't, wasn't able to make it. But so far what we have done is uh, Choco Flan. That one, I didn't come out good, but some of them. <laughs> <laughs> but we made some uh, street corn. That was pretty good. Um, some, yeah, empanadas, some cookies, but we weren't able to try those. Um, what else? There was this uh, this locust thing. It was like cucumbers, some peanuts, Mexican candy, and like too much on it. It was good. I <laughs> <laughs> and we do have a Spanish club at TTA as well that we were able to start this year. And next Tuesday, or excuse me, next Thursday, we're going to go visit CSU Pueblo and um, kind of see what they have in their cultural area for the kids to maybe branch out for college later on down the road. So. Thank, Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you for representing you. TTA yeah. in our district so well. That's really good. Um, I just want to take a minute to uh, also thank you all, thank you Mr. Lovato for being supportive. A lot of these, a lot of my kids would not be engaged in community service and wouldn't be engaged really in much in school, but we've always been supportive and we've all, you guys have always been that and make that to where almost all my kids are involved in something. And I think that that's great. So I thank you guys all. I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, where do you go on your tech trip when you go to Oklahoma next year? Uh, the tech trip is going to the um, trampoline park to film trampoline stuff for the trampoline. Yeah, they're going to the trampoline park. Okay, and then the uh, trampoline is that how many days? That's just a day trip. Okay. It's just down to, it's like uh, just past Raton. Um, yeah, I didn't know it was going to be. No, I think they're going to leave early in the morning, they'll be back like at 8 o'clock. So, yeah. 
it, it, it should be fun. They're gonna take about 15 kids, I think. Maybe a little more. We'll take a two band, so I don't know. It's good. You know, TT is really <clears throat> grown substantially since where we first started. Thank you all for your excellent work engaging the kids. Teaching is a labor of love. We all know that, but you guys make it look easy. Thank you. It's never easy. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Monty Bruce is here, uh, Monty Bruce, I think it's in better. He's in Rocky Ford. Rocky Ford. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank all you. Right. Thank you.